so if somebody's working and let's say they they already have a good sense of what their purpose is or what they want to do what the, they they want to express their the the things that they love to do mm-hmm. uh, and be successful at it uh what's the next step for them what, what do they do well the first thing is to get training training in what they want to do get real training not just try making stuff up on their own uh whether it's learning a skill Mm -hmm. Uh, whether it's a craft that you want to learn if you want to do movies get trained go go do a class on making movies if you want to learn to write take a class get a mentor if you want to coach get train as a coach don't just read a book and say i'm going to call myself a coach and i'm going to help people and it's just (laughs) not really it's it's people wouldn't do that would they Yes. (laughs) Yes. <laughs> or let me just watch other people and yeah. then copy what they do. And, and so you want to get trained, and then you always want to have a mentor you sure. want to, or a coach to help you make that shift from contemplation to commitment. Mm. You're not committed until you, you hire a coach, really, truly, or, or take that step to get that training. You're not really committed. You're thinking about it. You're looking on Facebook and videos, and you're <laughs> hanging out and... Um, thinking about thinking about it <laughs> and one day and it's never the right time and it's like it's n- and it actually never is the right time it's never a perfect time to make a change oh you just that's gotta a good do one it. yeah because a lot of people are waiting for that perfect opportunity perfect chance uh, to do it right the first time and there's no such thing right mm-hmm. i mean you you know you mentioned a little bit about the failure that you learn more from the failures than from the successes. Actually, two years before, when I should have jumped, I had a, I had a lot more money in the bank. I had a lot of savings, and I could have really started it then. Mm. But I was scared, and I went back to the corporate world again. And but I don't want to say that that was a mistake because I did learn some things in sure. that that work that helped me build my uh, hypnotherapy website and all the d- digital marketing that I learned from that job. So it wasn't a failure, but I think, oh, I would have financially been in a better place. And then instead of just getting laid off and not making it a choice. But so it's never a good time. And really, the time is now. It's always the now is always the right time. And you just figure it out. Like you can't wait for everything to be planned out. You take that first step and things will show up for you that you never thought was was possible. I didn't realize how much um, what the adventure was until I actually did it. I, I really just it gave me so much more than I expected. Uh, mm-hmm. I kind of thought, oh, it'd be nice to have my own little office and work for myself. Like I had this kind of idea, but it gave me so much more in personal growth and and kind of really going, wow, I can actually pay myself. I don't have to get a job to get money in. I can actually be a force in my life and choose. Uh, that to me is incredible. It's it's the most incredible gift anyone can have is to get in control of their own power. And that's really what I believe. When you're an entrepreneur and you live your purpose, you really access your own power. 